Hi everyone! We have now finished all renovations, so we are once and for all tackling our small, narrow London garden and turning it into a little slice of tropical paradise. Hiring professionals to help us with the foundations and patios and designing ourselves a grassless, biodiverse habitat that's perfect for us, our dog and the wildlife around us. So we're off to get the pebbles for around the parkway and the patio and it's too late in the day to go back on this because there is no time left and the patio has already been laid but the patio is quite dazzling and it's quite like a bluey grey and Freddie is just trying to reassure me that nothing can be done so I gotta accept it. <laughs> That's where we're at. I wanted it to like really blend into the background and it is actually very much an attention seeker of the patio. It's very bluey gray. Anyway, we're off to go and get some pebbles and trying to go and find a pebble color that complements the patio so that everything isn't a bit too like contrasting. We're in being cute now and we're back here. What are we gonna pick? I think it's, this one is what I like, but it's called Bloomer Brown and these are not brown at all. Which makes me worry, like it looks totally different to the picture online. The picture looks like this. You were looking at Bloomer White, I think that's a bit too white. Freddie can't decide which bags he wants, we've got to get pretty much all of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one down, 15 to go. Originally we'd actually come in to look at this one, but the ones that are left are all giant rocks. I think that's too big for the garden and they're quite brown and next to that dazzling bluey grey slab, I don't think that's going to work. So we've gone for a totally different option here. We're literally about to fly to Edinburgh and I feel like I'm not in a place of like fully expressing what I want to my builder and he arrives tomorrow and he's going to work four days whilst we're away. I am so stressed. I've just been doing little outlines with what we just picked up and I've made my curve of where I want my cotton edging to go. This is all gonna be border. We've done the pathway, but we've grouped two of the stepping stones and two of the stepping stones, and then this will all be pebble around it, and then the other edging will start here. And we've decided, instead of doing the full edging all the way around, it's gonna look so odd having just a little bit of gravel here and then that edge. So we're just gonna have the steel meet this bit here and then there and then that will all be a border. Hundred percent made the right decision with the grey pebbles as opposed to the beigey brown ones, even though I preferred the beige ones. It just works better with all the different colours, aka all the different greys in here. working with Top Cashback again, which I love because I love using Top Cashback. We used the online cashback platform so much during the build, so whenever we needed to buy anything online, we would just put the website through Top Cashback and it tracks your visit to the site and then on any purchases you make, you get a percentage back in cash. There's over 5,000 retailers on Top Cashback. Once you start spending and the payments have been verified, then the credit goes in your account. There's no minimum withdrawal amount, so you can just take it out whenever you like. If you are new to Top Cashback, then I have a 15 pound sign up bonus for you as well. So when you shop spending a minimum of 15 pounds through Top Cashback, you will get an additional 15 to spend. All you have to do is type in the website that you would be visiting anyway, and then click the Get Cashback Now button, which opens your chosen brand's website, and then you just shop as normal. Today, I am going to be buying some plants for the garden because it is a concrete jungle right now, and we need to make it greener. I really wanna try and do the 60-40 rule, so I saw on a gardening show that you should try and make 40% of your garden soft landscaping. So considering we've removed the grass and there is a lot of concrete there now, we need to add back in some softness and some greenery. So I'm gonna get buying some plants and I am of course gonna shop on websites through Top Cashback and make some money back on my purchases. My plants have arrived. 
even remember what I ordered. This plant, and you can barely see it because it doesn't have its leaves yet. These twigs all go like fiery red in the winter. Obviously we're gonna be spending the majority of the time in the garden in the summer, but I still want it to look nice in the winter and I find it's really hard to make a garden look nice in the winter. So a little bit of bright red color with these baddies, it's gonna do the trick. I have ordered this hopper looking bendy garden edging. So it's for the borders. It's called Caught and Steel, and you can get it in lots of different uh, finishes, like black or grey or whatever, but I just love this like worn copper edging. And it's really easy to put in, because it's got the spikes already, and you can like literally bend it to any shape you like. I just think it's going to give a little bit more warmth to our garden, because it's so much grey now, with all the pebbles and the patio and everything. <laughs> I've done this and seeded out all of the kind of dead plant debris there's like cement everything in here I will then re-level the borders with the additional topsoil that we have when they excavated the patio we had so many bags of soil and instead of chucking it in the skip we're gonna reuse it because it's really good quality soil from like deep underground and we're gonna lay it on top and then we're gonna even out all these borders because I don't know if you, can, you can't really see it in the video but it's all uneven and lumpy just from like foxes and cats and digging and us like planting stuff and not like leveling the soil again. So it's gonna be all nice and level with fresh soil. Builders are just clearing out their tools now because they're all finished. I can't believe it's done. And now I need to get planting. So they just brought back some more topsoil from me, which came out of this area. Where we've got all this lovely, fresh, healthy soil that I can just level all of this out. It's gonna be great. exhausting okay so not only am i planting all the new plants which are looking so good here they are and i've done them like really separate so they've got space to grow because one of the things that i've learned from my very impatient gardening is that i always put all the plants too close together because i want it to look like in full bloom immediately it just doesn't work been doing the planting of all the new plants and I've also been moving stuff so obviously now that our sofa is in situ here some of the plants behind here just don't grow that tall so you'd never see them so I moved the golden forsythia that was like tucked in the corner and now it's got lots of space here next to the eucalyptus so these will all grow in full bloom over the sofa and then I moved the nandina to this spot here Firstly because of its height, and secondly because it's an evergreen, so it will never lose its leaves. So in this curve here, which is like the entrance to the patio, there will always be something greenery and bloom here, which is important. So got that. And then I've just got to plant my dahlias and my peonies. Um, got lots of bee-friendly plants here. Gonna put some lavender in here as well, because my bee hotel is here. So obviously, it's on the like west facing wall of the garden so it gets lots of sunlight and it's got all these bee friendly plants near it. doing any bank holiday gardening or DIY yourself then don't forget to check out 
top cash back first and see if the sites that you're going to shop at are on there and you can get some cash back. So I will leave the new members sign up link below which gives you that £15 when you spend £15 on your first purchase. So enjoy your shopping. That is a wrap on another episode of The Garden. We're not quite finished but we are almost there. 